Hey guys, welcome back. Fred here from Math, Math and Engineering. This video is the second part of the slope deflection method where we solve for a, a beam using with two fixed ends. It was a continuous beam and we had a roller at point C. And um, yeah, so we solve for the end moments of that beam. And uh, essentially what it is that we're going to do now is we're going to solve for the, uh, the, the reactions, uh, which is what the question asked. And we're going to solve for the shear and bending moment diagram. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, <clears throat> so what I've done is I've, um, if, so if you're not familiar with the first part of this video, the link is in the description below, and also it's in the pinned comment section, so go ahead. And guys, as always, if you're enjoying our videos, please like and subscribe, hit that subscribe button down below, it really does help us, motivates us to uh, make more videos. So this is the, the, the beam, okay, and what I've done is I've, I've cut to the right and the left of C, and I've transferred these moments over there, uh, just to show you that that's kind of how the moments work, and if you'll remember, uh, MAC was 50.6 and MCA was uh, 58.8. So that's kind of, so the beam is essentially cut just to the left of the beam there. That's good to note. And uh, okay, so let's go ahead and continue with uh, the problem here. So uh, the first step is we're going to want to solve for the shears on the ends of the cut beams here. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, so we're going to analyze section AC first. Okay, so we have 50.6 kip feet and 58.8 kip feet here. Those are both moments on the ends. And we have our AY reaction, okay? And we have our CY, and we'll just call that to the left. Uh, so the CY, this is the CY left and CY right reactions here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the moment about C of this section here. So we have moment about C. Counterclockwise is positive, okay? And we have a negative 58.8 uh, moment here. Okay, we have a moment that's positive 18 times 10, right? And we have a positive moment here, okay? And we have our AY uh, reaction here. That's going to be negative, and that's also multiplied by 30. Okay, that's equal to 0. And if we go ahead and solve it for AY here, okay, we're going to get that AY is equal to 55.73 kip, okay? Perfect. Now, uh, we could just take the sum of the forces in Y. Okay, so we're going to have negative 18 plus 5.73 plus CYL equals 0. So CYL is equal to, uh, we just have 18 minus 5.73. It's going to be 12.27 kip. Cool. So uh, that's what we've done here. So this, I'm going to put that down below. Okay, we've solved this side of the beam. Now let's go ahead and solve this side of the beam. We found the reaction at A. We do need to find the reaction at C, okay? But we do need to find the uh, the end shears here and here that we cut so that we can move them over here and solve for C. That's what we need to do. So let's go ahead and start by uh, solving uh, just for the moment for C, but we're gonna do that C on the right side of the beam here. Okay, so we're gonna go here and we're gonna take the moment about this area. So we have EY and we have CY. We'll say that's to the right. Okay, so let's do that. So we have 58.8 uh, moment there, that's positive. Um, we have our 10 kip force here. Okay, that is multiplied by 15 feet and it's in the negative direction. Okay, we have the 26.9 kip foot and that is negative moment. Okay, and we have our reaction. That's positive EY times 30 feet. That's all equal to zero. Solve for EY. You're going to get a value of 3.94 kip. Okay. And summation of forces in Y will give us uh, 3.894. 3.94 minus 10. And 3.94 minus 10 plus CYR equals zero. Okay, so CYR is going to be 6.06 .06 kip. So um, now that we've done that, let me just redraw this for a sec without the moments. So what this looks like now, this is A, okay, we have our AY of 5.73 kip, okay, we have our force here of 18 kip, this is uh, 20 feet, 10 feet, okay, and we have our, where we cut the beam here, we have CY left is equal to 12.27, okay, and now we know that the forces when we cut the beam internally need to be equal and opposite. So we have 12.27 here now. This is B. Okay. We have this force here, which was CYR. That's going to be 6.06. .06. Okay, so this is 6.06. .06. Okay, 
And uh, what do we have over here? We have the reaction at EY, which is 3.94. Okay? And we have our 10 kip force here. This is 15 feet. 15 feet. Okay. So as you can see, we have a kind of an isolated little system here in which we can solve for the reaction. And the sum of the forces in the y direction, this is going to be equal to the summation of these two. And that's going to give us a reaction at B, sorry, C of 18.33 kip. Cool. So now we can solve for the shear and the moment diagrams. Okay, and let's, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and start the shear and bending moment diagram. Okay, so we have, this is A, if you'll remember, B, this is C, D, and E. Okay. So we go over to A, we'll have B here, C, D, and E. So we have uh, 5.73, that's going to go over to B. Okay, we're going to subtract 5.73 by 18. Uh, we're going to go down to 12.27. And, as you'll see, okay, because the shear and bending moment diagram, so the shear, for example, is a measure of the internal uh, shear force, okay, you can see that this 12.27 correlates with the, the shear force at that point. See, so see 12.27, 12.27. That's an interesting little uh, tip, tip for you there. Okay, so when we go to C, we're going to add the shear force here, which is 18.33. That's 6.06. We're going to go over to D and we're going to subtract 10, 3.94, and we're going to go back to zero. So let's just take the areas here, okay? So we know that this is 20 feet, this is 10 feet, this is 15, and this is 15. Very simple bending moment diagram, actually. So uh, let's take a look at the positive moment here at 50.6. So we're going to go down on the bending moment diagram to 50.6, all right? And then we're going to go over to, if we, uh, we just take the... Uh, the shear times the length, okay, and we add that to negative 50.6, we're going to get, okay, we're going to get a value of 64, that's the moment at B, all right, and now we have a negative moment here, let's uh, take the area of that on the shear diagram, and let's go ahead and multiply that by 1, okay, and we're going to add that to the positive moment, and we're going to end up with 58.8 at C. And now we can go ahead and you can just continue like this. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, we have 6.06 .06 times 15. We're going to add that to negative 58.8. We're going to get 32.2. And we do know actually that the bending moment diagram ends at 26.9 negative. Okay, because we know that the end moment is 26.9. If you want to actually just solve it using the shear and see if you get the same answer, you will, though, That uh, as long as you didn't make any mistakes. Okay, cool, guys. Uh, thanks for watching that. Much appreciated. Yeah, I think that might have been a little bit useful if you wanted to just finish that problem and get a little more practice drawing the bending moment diagram after methods like this, because it's actually not that simple. And uh, I hope that, that you know you learned something from that. Comment down below if you want to see any uh, other specific videos. And as always, like and subscribe.